Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a tutorial on how to tweak some of the auto-correcting options on your iPad. Now, here's a shot of the Notes app where you can see that I've spelt a monkey wrong. And the way that this is supposed to work is that iPad automatically senses, you know, what I've spelt wrong and puts an option up there for you. And at this point, if I were to hit the space bar, it would automatically put monkey with the O in place of monkey with the U. I have to actually tap the little X next to monkey to get rid of that suggestion and leave my original spelling of monkey with a U there. Now, those of you that have been trying to type on the iPad for some time know that this is not... Um, a very easy system, so to speak. A lot of times there are quirks or differences in the way we spell things that we want or mean for them to be spelt a little differently, uh, particularly with some of the uh, businesses out there, let's say, that have uh, different spellings or they want to be, you know, neat or whatever. Let's take Quick Trip, for example, who spells quick, K-W-I-K, um, It'd be interesting to see how iPad handles that. At any rate, sometimes we want things to be spelled a certain way, and we don't want them to be auto-corrected. So what we can do is tweak the settings for iPad to simply highlight those things that it thinks are wrong and use that to give us suggestions after the fact rather than automatically placing them in there and then you get to the end of the document and you realize oh no I've got a whole bunch of misspellings or things spelt differently than maybe I wanted them to so how do we do that first we need to make sure that we get into the settings portion of our iPad again you're looking for this icon that has little gears on it and it may or may not be in the same place that I have mine, but that's the one that you're looking for. It's going to take you into your settings menu on the general tab, and what you're going to want to do is uh, swipe up on the screen to get down lower in the menu so you can find the keyboard setting here. So go ahead and tap on that. Now, what we're looking at is this section that we see on the top here, and there's five different things. There's auto capitalization, auto correction, check spelling, enable the caps lock, and the period shortcut. Now the ones that I'm going to focus on here are the auto correction and the check spelling. So what I want to do is actually turn the auto correction off because I don't want it to automatically replace what it thinks is what should be there. I just want it to check spelling. So I'm going to have autocorrection off and check spelling on. And when I do that, it's just going to highlight with a red underline of dots under those things that it thinks are wrong so that I can make that adjustment later. So here's how this looks. You can see here I have a short sentence. Here is my new iPad and the word is is misspelled. But we see that there are dots underneath the word is because iPad thinks that there's something wrong with that. <laughs> well, yeah, there is. Um, but this is much easier, you know, if you type up an entire document and then you want to go back and edit after the fact to just see at a glance where all of those supposed mistakes are, and then you can choose whether or not you want to deal with them. Um, now, this is no different than any other spell check thing. So if you're, you know, typing words that are spelt correctly, but they're not maybe the right word to use, kind of like the there, there, and there type options. Um, you know, this isn't going to be as helpful for that, but it's going to make things different for you uh, and perhaps a lot better and more suited to the way you want to work with your documents. Now again, what I have to do is just tap on the word now that's underlined, and what iPad will do is give me some suggestions to choose from. And then I can tap the one that's appropriate. Or, you know what, if one of those options are not correct either, then I can simply just take off IZ and put in something different. 
Alternatively, another option that you can do is if you go back to your home page and go back into the settings and a couple of options down from keyboard where we selected the first time, there's one called accessibility. And something else you can do here is to go in and there's an option to speak the auto text. So if you do have your auto corrections on, something you can have iPad do is speak out loud anything that it changes. And so that way as you're typing and, and moving along quickly, uh, iPad will speak up. And if so if you hear it say something that maybe doesn't fit what you wanted, um, you can stop there and make that fix without it being lost in, in the document. So uh, those are a couple of different ways that you can tweak your autocorrection to make it a little bit better for your experience. And hopefully that was helpful for you. I know that those settings have been very helpful for me in making things uh, behave the way I would like them. Um, iPad is great for giving you the opportunity of having a personal experience and customizing things the way you want. So thanks, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.